I am Mohammed Samawi. I'm a peace activist from Yemen and I'm the author of The Fox Hunt. When you live in a country like Yemen, we don't want it to be different. We don't want it to think outside of the box. And what I did, I actually was trying to build bridges between Muslims, Jews, and Christians. I was living in a Sunni city called Aden, which is in the south of Yemen. And my background, my family background is Shia. And unfortunately, it was the wrong time to be in such a city. It was the wrong place to be at. The war just started and it was really bad. Extreme groups surrounded my apartment and I didn't know what to do. So I used social media and I asked people through Facebook if they can help me out. It just felt wrong to sit by and do nothing. So I wrote to everyone I knew and a beautiful thing happened. People answered the call. So I received an email from this woman, Megan, who I barely knew. So I said, listen, I don't think I can help your friend, but here's the contact information for this guy, Muhammad. Maybe Muhammad can help. And Megan responded a few hours later, it is Muhammad. Because they will not just kill me. They will torture me first and then they will kill me. And I thought that maybe the best thing to do is just kill myself. But when they answered and respond to my request to help me out, this actually opened the window of hope for me. It was the first night of Passover in 2015. I was sending frantic messages under the table, uh, stepping outside to take calls on Skype. By the way, by the way, sort of the, the other ridiculous coincidence in this whole story is that he crossed the Red Sea on Passover. <laughs> Except his name wasn't Moses, it was Muhammad. And he was going east to west, not west to east. In a matter of two weeks, they were able to help me out to escape from them. And today I'm here in the United States writing a book about why I was doing what I was doing in Yemen. These people who helped me out, it didn't take from them money. It didn't take from them to be Superman or Batman. They just used phones and computers. Small things, just by saying yes, maybe changed the whole world. Even if you think that you are only an individual who is not part of a big organization, you inside you, you are a big thing and you can make a difference.